I own a store in the neighborhood, which is fantastic because I can walk to work every day. It also means that I can be very productive here and kind of on call, which is pretty great luxury in New York City. At the shop, we carry my work as well as about 100 other furniture and product designers, and we carry about 70 jewelers as well. Definitely the best emerging in design as well as jewelry. My husband Brad is Brad Roberts of the Crash Test Dummies, a Canadian band from Winnipeg. I had always been a fan, but I never had cable television, so I actually didn't know what he looked like. <laughs> We each had a loft in Soho, and this loft had much more light than my loft, so we ended up moving here. I would definitely say it's a collaboration. Both of us have been lucky enough to travel a lot for our work. Brad was touring around the world all the time, and when I worked as a fashion designer, I traveled really to so many different places and ended up picking up a lot of the things on travels. My favorite area of the house is definitely what we call the big room. The big room is the front room facing Broadway. It gets tons of light, big, big, massive windows. It's where both Brad and I have our workspaces, so it's the more dynamic part of the apartment. Probably none of them are intentionally collections. We are always acquiring new things, moving things around. This ends up being kind of one of the canvases and platforms that I can play with. I would say, first of all, I'm a rule breaker, both of us are. Really what appeals to both Brad and I is layering, playing with color, juxtaposition, you know, why not? Let's mix in the royal portrait with a uh, paint by numbers. It's really about having fun. It is a fourth floor walk up, so we don't do a huge amount of trading out of big pieces of furniture. They kind of stay and live and they tend to be very comfortable, useful pieces. Almost everything does a lot of work. This side of the apartment faces inside the buildings, and this is definitely more the man cave. Kitchen is here, so it kind of keeps it very vibrant in spite of the fact that it's kind of cave-like. Nothing too precious. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Neither of us are particularly dainty. Owning a store, I often want to purge and get rid of everything just because there's so much new, and I'm like, I can't bring another thing into the house. So that cabinet is from the flea market, as are many things in the apartment, and we turned it into a pantry by adding shelves on the inside. In order to create division between the kitchen area and the den area, I created a wall of sorts by adding the glass fly catchers, the pot rack, as well as this wooden screen. People ask about them all the time. These fly catchers made a lot of sense because they're still glass, they're light, so you get light through. They're very effective, and while I don't really like flies or wasps in the house, I don't really like cleaning up their carcasses either. <laughs> <laughs> Most people walk in and they just sort of can't stop looking around and asking questions. And that's really fun. It's sort of the inner sanctum and kind of reflects the fact that both of us have our own personality and don't need to be like everybody else. <laughs>